Hi guys, this is Pradeep. Do you know some companies still using SAP ERP, which is also known as SAP ECC6? ECC6, they are using different versions like ESP7, ESP8. So today we will talk about the new GL feature in ECC. Although nowadays every company is looking for S4 HANA or they are upgrading into S4 HANA, but still some companies they are still using ECC6 and today we will talk about that. Before ECC6, let me give you the idea about the classic GL or it is known as your classic accounting. So uh, what are the problems earlier there in the classic asset accounting? So it is also known as your SAP R3 system. That means before EC system. I'm sure right now you will not get much information about that because it is a very old system. So here, if we, let's say we have multiple operation in different countries or let's say in same country, we have a requirement that we need to book different expenditures, different revenues or our books of accounts we have to maintain. Uh, multiple regions. So in that case, right now what we are doing, we are using multiple ledgers, whether we are using EC6 or S4 HANA. But in old days, that time they used to maintain multiple ledgers, multiple, I mean, they have to create, uh, for example, two chart of accounts. So one chart of account they will create for main operation purpose and another one they will create for alt as alternate chart, uh, chart of account. They need multiple uh, ledgers for the reconciliation purpose. Nowadays, we are not using that, but earlier it was there. They uh, used to create multiple special purpose ledgers, which is known as your, uh, like uh, for a specific purpose, let's say we want management reporting or we need some, some specific purpose if we want the, uh, to maintain our books of accounts, then we need to introduce or we need to configure the special purpose ledgers. Then uh, here we don't have any automatic reconciliation between your other sub ledgers like we have assets, customers, vendors. So now how we are going to do the reconciliation or it is automatic reconciliation, earlier it was not there. So closing activities, you won't believe that it will take even uh, more than weeks, like you can say uh, more than seven days, eight days, that much time it was required related to the uh, closing activities in our classic GL. If you'll check this image, this is your EC6 features with here you can use EHP 7 or EHP 8, anything you can take. So that means we have different applications are there. We have logistic, we have FSCM, we have different sub ledgers and all are connected with your accounting interface. So that means we can say that FI is connected with our logistic because we are going to do the procurement, we are going to do the sales, right? It is also connected with your other sub ledgers like your receivables, payable, asset. So various activities we are doing in the finance books of accounts. In old days, this particular new GL feature was not there. So that is why we have to create multiple special purpose ledgers. Whereas now we are going to have ledgers, right? So you can guess correct. So now we have the leading ledger and we have the non-leading ledger. So we have segments are there, we have functional area, we have profit centers, all this earlier it was not there. So with benefit of this, what we can do? We can go for parallel accounting, we can uh, go for segment reporting, we specific ledger we can use in management accounting and all these things are available in our EC6 system. So uh, that's why in the beginning I said that a lot of companies still using SAP EC6, although they are in the uh, process of migrating to S4 HANA because very soon S4 HANA ECC system will not be supported by uh, SAP. But if we will talk about today, today also a lot of companies, not in domestic companies, even companies in USA, Europe, they are still using SAP EC6 also. And if we'll check, a lot of jobs are also, uh, you won't find these jobs in India, but you will find these jobs in USA. A lot of support jobs are still available on EC system. Okay, in the, like you can say that, uh, companies when they are going for migration so that they need some consultants from the ECC point of view so that they will help them for the migration from ECCC to S4 HANA. So that's why don't disregard the EC system completely because as, as I said ECC still we are using it, right? So what are the benefits we have? So if you'll see some features related to EC6. So whenever uh, we are posting any transactions, so you will find that the accounting document will be generated and that accounting document is part of your BSEC. And if any open items are there, again, I'm reminding, I'm not talking about S4 HANA today. So it is related to EC6. So accounting document is part of BSEC and your open items, GL open items is part of BSIS, right? So cleared items is part of BSAS. So that is part of your new GL. Although all this replaced in S4HANA by AC docket table, but in ECC it is there. 
and here we got two tables you can see this image like here we got two tables like one is your fagel flexa that is your line item tables and another one is your fagel flex t so fagel flex t is the total table so if you check the fagel flex t table you will find that fagel flex t includes everything so it includes multiple fields it includes your company code it includes your profit center your segment right so all the fields are available in the fagel flex t table that is your total table if we want to post any transactions let's say we have two ledgers are there like in my example we have leading ledger 0l and we have the non leading ledger n1 so if i want to post a document exclusively related to my uh, local gap let's say this is related to non leading ledger so i can post it you can see this particular document this particular document is posted with specific to non leading ledger entry so here by using the local gap i posted this document and leading ledger i am using for the consolidation purpose so this transaction you will find in the fagel flexa as i posted that document now you can see in this particular diagram it is my fagel flexa report in this fagel flexa report i just executed this particular uh, report by using the fagel uh, report so it is ledger specific report and here the data is coming from the fagel flexa table so my line item gl specific line items are part of your fagel flexa so that is uh, available here now if you'll see this what are the features are available in sap ec6 or new gl features so this new gl feature includes parallel accounting as i said we have multiple accounting principles so in our example i am using local gap with my non leading ledger n1 and the accounting principle ifrs i am using for my default ledger leading ledger so with this we can so uh, we can go for the segment reporting we can go for profit center reporting we can go for any legal reporting we can go for fast closing it is possible we can go for any uh, just ignore it. uh, it's two times given fast closing it's uh, that that is uh, available here right so these are the different features related to our new gl here what is missing that uh, again i am going to show you the document splitting so which i have not mentioned here that is also available now and in s4 we will find along with these features we have some more features are there like your uh, parallel accounting is available here but in s4 we have the parallel valuation is available we have the fico reconciliation which is not there here we are getting the document splitting there we are going to get the extended document splitting so if any company they are currently using classic gl so they can move from classic gl to directly to s4 hana but if customer is currently using ec6 and they are happy with their requirements till the time sap is going to support so they can use sap e6 because this one is also going to support the new asset accounting partially not all everything related to your s4 hana like we have the features but to some extent it is also available now uh, here we have the leading ledger so leading ledger mostly you will find that leading ledger is 0l in every system you will find this is our default ledger and whenever you are going to create any company code by default your leading ledger or your ol 0l is linked with that company code so that means default ledger 0l will be available for your company code so this is mostly we are using for our group valuation purpose so let's say one company they are operating in three different countries right so they have they have operation in usa they have operation in asia they have operation in uk now every com- country they have their local requirements are their local gaps are there so they can use different non leading ledgers for their local operation and for group valuation purpose they can go for the leading ledger right so for the group valuation purpose so you can also use multiple accounting principles now you can see this image here with this leading ledger i have assigned two accounting uh, sorry two currencies one currency is my local currency that is my uh, inr and second currency the group currency in this example euro you can take anything so it is coming from the uh, group settings so that is also possible in ecc whereas in s4 we know that it is going to have a 10 currency so if you in on in my live batch i am conducting all these uh, scenarios in practically in different business process so uh, you can explore that also already i have one video related to that you can explore that i will add that in the i button you can go through that similarly we can also go for non leading ledger so non leading ledger as i said exclusively for the local gap so we want let's say uh, tax valuation purpose we want to have one accounting principle so that we can use with the non leading ledger right for local gap we can use the non leading ledger so along with our leading ledger additionally as many as we can use non leading ledger so although non leading ledger having some disadvantages also like duplication of data will be there those things are simplified in s4 hana but right now when we are talking about 
the EC system, so in EC system, if you see the benefit, benefit is along with the leading laser, we can use non-leading laser as per our need and that we have to decide like which accounting principle we are going to assign with the non-leading laser. So we can have a different characteristics, we can go for a different fiscal year variant. Like in my example, I'm using V3 for my leading laser and K4 I'm using for my non-leading laser because for my US operation. So we can use different characteristics, we can use a non-leading laser for my management reporting point of view, so that is also possible. Then coming to when we are going to post the document, so if we'll check this document, so in this document we have two views are there, so this is the entry view and this is the GL view. So whenever we are posting the data, being user, whatever the informations I'm going to add in the system, so that is there in the document entry view. So that means it's a regular view, you, you can say, when user is going to feed the information. So here you will find various information. So here we can edit also, we can change the display documents, everything. That, that is my entry view. And some informations which user is not going to add in the system, that will be available in GL view or which this information like for example uh, in entry view you will find some information whereas in GL view you will find some more information there like the document is splitted so that means the splitting view you will get in the GL view so new GL is providing that two options we have switching between your entry view and GL view so in GL view you will find that this document is posted with ledger it is posted to related to leading ledger or related to non-leading ledger which non-leading ledger so that is possible in your GL view so any specific posting that we have it's let's say posted that is available in the laser view so in splitting also you will get in the laser view so that is uh, available here now uh, coming to another feature in as uh, in ECC we have that is document splitting so this it's a very effective tool for your advanced reporting point of view suppose let's say user posted one document and uh, initially some informations are missing in a couple of line items but when you will go to the GL view you can see here that some more informations are available. So this particular feature is available related to our any type of documents related to customer invoice, related to any collection. So we have two, three different uh, splitting rules are available. So one is your active rule. That means how I posted the document and after that, how system splitted that document. So that is your active splitting. Then we have related to collection, that is your passive splitting, right? So I will show you two documents related to active splitting and passive splitting, that is passive splitting related to collection. Then if the document is not balanced, then system can use here the zero balance splitting. So this one is very helpful when you will go for profit center accounting related reporting or segment related reporting. So advanced reporting point of view, this feature is available that is also available in the EC system. Again, whatever the information or whatever the list I have shared here, it is also there in the S4 and I am sure you must have used this one, but it is also available in the EC system, particularly if you are using the new GL feature. Now let me show you two documents related to document splitting so that you will get the practical idea. Now you can see here various documents are there. I'm just going to randomly pick one document. Let's take this document number 20,000, sorry, document amount 20,000 and document number 18005. So this is a customer invoice. So the, in this document, if I will go to, I was talking about the entry view. You can see this is my entry view right now. In this entry view, you will find that my line item one does not have any profit center and segment and the line item four does not have any profit center segment. So that means when I entered the document or when user entered this document, so user has not entered any information related to this line and this line, right? So this is a customer invoice only related to your revenue items or related to your PNL items. I can see the profit center segment. In this way, if we'll go for the reporting point of view, particularly if we'll go for segment reporting or profit centers reporting, then we'll find that that document is not balanced. As a result, our reporting part is going to have the issues or the reporting will be not perfectly balanced. So that is why, and this data is coming from which table? This data is coming from the BSEC table. So if we'll check this doc particular document in the BSEC table, you will find these many lines are available. Now this is my BSEC table, so in BSEC table, this whatever the informations entered by the user, those informations are available. Now if I'm going to switch from entry view to GL view, now you can see here, I'm going to switch to general ledger view, this is my general ledger view, if I will click here, you can see some more lines are available, or you can say that all line items pleated as per my configuration, so this is possible only with your new GL features. Now here I want to see that this particular document is splitted on the basis of how it is splitted on the basis of profit center. Now you can see I have you here used two profit centers. That is 
F001 and F002. Again, this is not EC, uh, S4 system, this is your EC system. If, I, if you want to see here, although it is on 100 database, but it is your EC system. Right, so this is check the version here. So this is EC system, EHP 8 system. Okay, so it's ESP8 system, EC system, but in EC system, the new GL feature is available and uh, this same document splitting which is there in your S4, also it is there in the EC2. Now document is perfectly balanced as per my required characteristics. Here my required characteristics is profit center. In both the profit center, I'm using segment one, that is manufacturing, but here you can see that profit center wise document is balanced. So I have equal debit and equal credit for profit center F001. Right, this is one document. So previously it was before splitting, how many line items are there? This, these many line items are there before splitting. So only four line items. Whereas after splitting, I have total six line items are available. So some line items split it further. And, okay, and from where we are getting this data? We are getting this data from Fagal Flexa table. Let's check that. Now this is your extraction related to Fagal Flexa where document is perfectly balanced or you can see these many line items are generated or uh, as this table is updated, so that is why we can see this particular document. This is your active splitting. Similarly, let's check another document. Uh, let's, this collection document, this document, document number 14001. And if you check this document, right now I am in, again, entry view in this document, I can see this line item is blank. And here, uh, three profit centers being used, profit center one, two, three, for different, different items. Now, if I will go to the gen, uh, GL view, now here both the things are applicable. One, let me short the data. Now check here. So the, uh, all three profit centers are equally balanced. So here both passive splitting as well as zero balance splitting here. A couple of zero line entries are there to make the document balance. Again, that is possible with your new GL document splitting features. So these are very uh, quick tips. You can say that related to ECC6 or related to our new GL enabled EC6. So that is why when you will go to any SAP system related to ECC, here you will find two options. One is your financial accounting and financial accounting new. So that means if customer they want, they can continue with the classic one. Or if they want the new GL features, whatever I explained right now, they can go for this financial accounting new. So this is a close connection with the asset accounting too. Okay, although nowadays we are not talking much about this ECC new GL because nowadays it is completely uh, like managed or everything of every company is going for s 4 but still in ECC these, all these features are there. Not 100% whatever we have related to S4, but some extent it is also available in the ECC 6, but if you we'll check is EHP 7 system or EHP 8 system. I hope this one is going to help you for your interview. Very soon we will see another scenario. Thank you.